So today I just wanted to go over getting started with plotting in Qt. Qt doesn't have any built-in classes to do plotting. So if you want to, you're gonna have to either write your own or you can use a third party library, which is what I'm doing here. I'm using Qt Custom Plot. So this, I actually like this. I like this a lot. This one, if you've ever used MATLAB or MATPLOTLIB, this feels a lot like a lot like that. It's it's got a lot of the same feel to it, and it makes some really nice plots. If you look, if you go to their page here, QCustomPlot.com, and you look at it, they've got some sample plots here, just different styles you can make, different cases where you use them. And you can actually you can go and click on them, and you've got the full code listing for it. So pretty helpful there. You can copy that, play around with it, and it's available under GNU GPL. And it's got some nice documentation and some tutorials and examples to it. So it's definitely worth going through if you're using Qt. You want to do plotting this is a pretty good place to start. I know there's GNU plot, there's boost graph, both of those have their uses, but if you're using Qt, I say use Qt custom plot. It's pretty nice, pretty nice solution here. So you can use it as either a shared library, like a DLL, or you could also just copy the source and the header and just include it directly. So whichever one, whichever way you, you want to use it, just download that. I've already downloaded it here. If you go extract it and look at it, you've got your documentation. So there's your cute documentation. Put that in for your help files. Then you've got some examples. And these two files here, your qcustomplot.cpp and .h. Those are the files that we're going to copy those and put them in our project file. Which, actually, let's make a new project. So we'll call it just plotting, I guess. And main window, I don't care. And now let's go to our project folder, plotting. And I'm going to paste those files right in there. So let's close that. Don't need it anymore. And we're going to right click on a project file and say add existing files. So we've got qcustomplot.cpp and .h. And we're going to add them. Qt's going to bring them in. Now, if you're using Qt 5.0 or greater, then you need to add print support. Otherwise, you're going to get some errors. So add that to your project file and save it. And then we're going to go to our UI and add a widget. So I'm going to lay that out in a grid and then right click on your widget and say promote to and we'll call it Q custom plot. So that's that's the one that we just brought in. And then promote to Q custom plot. So now that widget there is our Q custom plot. And just for the sake of this example, because I'm gonna use the example code from their site, I'm gonna call this custom plot. Save that. And then I'm going to make a function. We'll say void main window make plot. And let's go ahead and add that to our header and save that. So now we've got our slot there.
we'll go up to our constructor and we'll go call our make plot function. So make, sorry, not make window, main window make plot. And then I'm going to paste some code for the plot just down in that function. So let's go. This is a minimal example here, just on their tutorials for basic plotting. And it just plots a parabola here. So let's copy that. I'm going to paste that into a function. And then I'm going to do a find replace on custom plot. UI custom plot. So we'll replace that. And now that's talking to the custom plot widget on our UI. And basically what we're doing here is here just making some data to plot then we're adding a graph to our custom plot widget then we're setting the data which we just generated and then we're just we're basically just configuring the plot it's that feels a whole lot like MATLAB set label set the range and then call custom plot replot So let's go ahead and build that and run. That might actually take a while right now, just because I'm doing it just right now. Or, I mean, just, I, I, I haven't built it here yet. So I guess let's look at this right now while we wait for the build. Um, yeah, that's what it's going to look like. You can... Uh, kind of configure the style of it like it, say you want to change the color of the line well you change the pen or if you wanted to plot let's see if I can find the page if you wanted to plot a different style plot then maybe you do like a scatter style plot You can also do uh, real-time plotting. I know there's an example on here somewhere. Here it is, real-time plotting. So say you had some sensor and you wanted to plot the data from the sensor in real-time. Well, key custom plot will do that for you. It's a great solution for it. Come on, cute, you've got to be done. Okay, finally it is. I was about to yell at cute, but I guess it finished. And we can resize that. It handles it pretty nicely. And that's the basics of it. I've barely scratched the surface here. I don't really want to make the, uh, try to make a huge tutorial on it because They've got some pretty nice documentation already. I, I think I'd be kind of uh, pointless doing that. But just to get set up, maybe it helps someone. So hopefully it does. If it does, subscribe. I'll have more videos. But until then,